as you can see, uh, we have yet another crazy rainy day morning and it yet again looks like a bomb went off in the barn. Because I was desperately trying to get a bunch of horses worked this morning before this windy rainstorm hit. So I was pretty successful, but I made a giant mess that I now need to clean up. Today is day four or episode four because I'm not able to vlog every day of Vlogmas. 2022. Uh, I still feel weird saying that. It sounds a little silly. Um, <laughs> I wanted to start by saying if you like my videos, please like them, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and please comment. I hate saying this, it's not my personality whatsoever, but it is a huge help to me because by you liking, subscribing, and commenting on my channel, it then suggests my videos and my channel to other equestrians or just people in general. So as much as I hate saying it, if you enjoy my videos, please do like them. Please subscribe to my channel. When you do, you'll find out when more of my videos are coming, which I would think that you would enjoy them if you're watching this. And please, for my own sake, comment because I love hearing from you guys. I love being able to communicate with people that enjoy the channel. That's, um, it's just really fun for me. So that's my little YouTuber thing today. We're gonna move on now. <laughs> so episode four today is probably gonna be a pretty standard like day in my life here. I need to stretch and massage a couple horses. It's a rainy day, so I'd like to clean some tack as well. I obviously need to clean up my giant mess. I wanted to do some Christmas decorating today, but I haven't gotten any Christmas decorations and it's raining. Which leads to my question of the day slash what I would love for you guys to write in the comments. Have you decorated a stall door? What decorations should I give for Z? I don't know. Um, I want to do something fun this year for Christmas since I'm doing Vlogmas and I'd love to, I usually buy wreaths for the front of the barn, but besides that, do you guys have any ideas or suggestions? That would be super fun. While I clean up this mess, I'm gonna start by beamering Richie, so let's go grab him, and uh, then we can clean it everything up together. I did get some walk trot dressage done on Z this morning. He feels so good and he seems much less Krabby Patty today, so I feel relieved. He seems like himself um, with some tummy meds, so hopefully it's just his tummy bothering him. Nice response. Super. Super. Gorgeous. Ah. That's fine. And walk and pet him. So super cool. I love working with him and I have really been enjoying learning the long lining process. Um it's just such a cool way to teach the horse how to use their body on the ground, and it also gives you a cool feel like in your hands, like you're riding, but there's not weight on the horse's back. So, super cool tool that I've really been enjoying. And I've been using Richard to uh, work on some of my education since he's not really ready for that kind of hard work yet. I have the gut feeling this is gonna turn into a really long vlog today because I have so much I want to accomplish. <laughs> Maybe it'll be four and five parts one and two, but that might be being too ambitious. Ricardo, what are you doing? Ricardo? Okay, I'm gonna clean up this giant mess really quick.
Okay, it's not perfect, but it's much cleaner for now so that I can feel like it's not a total disaster while I do some massaging and stretching. Richie just finished with his beamer session, so it took me about like 15 minutes to clean up. Okay, so I opened the Ethel advent calendar and first off, I'm letting everyone try the treats. Anyways, he seems to like it. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think, Richard? So I'm gonna run over him with my hands-on gloves today, see if there's anything, ow, Richie. See if there's anything that needs to be massaged. He got MagnaWave on Thursday, so he should be feeling pretty good um, since he had that MagnaWave pimp session two days ago, and then he had a loose, stretchy Pessoa day yesterday. The other Ethel product that I would like to try today is this uh, Hoof Moisture Balance Cream. Oh, I love this focus. So, Richie is notorious for having kind of like crummy thoroughbred feet. And I have been using Caratex Hoof Oil, um, but I wanted to give this a try. We're kind of in a muddy season right now, and um, I figured we would try this instead today. So I'm gonna clean, pick out his feet, and then put this on and see what we think. So after trying to read uh, the small amount of English on this product, this looks like it's actually for dry and brittle hooves. So I'm not gonna use this today. However, I found a uh, hoof oil gel, so I'm gonna use that. All of their products smell pretty good. Um, I have this kind of like universal brush thing that I use to apply this kind of stuff when it doesn't come with one, so. Anyways, that's your Apple product of the day. Let's move on to the grooming stuff. I've spent way too much time nitpicking at that. I know that I've mentioned this before, but I always like to work back to front. I like to start right through here and uh, get their hips loose. And then come across the butt muscles. Richard is notorious for getting sore in his hamstrings back here. So I just make sure I'm very gentle when I rub across these muscles back here. Um, they get really tight when he does a lot of his hard work and he's been growing a lot and learning a lot. He really, really loves his massage sessions. So and when I find a spot that's a little sore with the hands on gloves, then I kind of use my fingertips instead to just massage that. And if there's a muscle that's tight, just kind of work on it for a minute. All these thoroughbreds are always notorious for being tight in their back.
Klein Body Work are coming out once a month. I feel like there's so much I can do just by rubbing and massaging their muscles. It just really gives them a lot of relaxation and really makes them feel better when they're in pretty tough work. It's something I can really do weekly for them. Okay, I could probably film for like a whole entire hour of just one horse, but I want to show you guys Rexy too. So I'm gonna stop filming some of my stuff for him in a minute so that I can save film time for Rexy. I also want to show you guys if you've noticed him being extra mouthy today. He's about to lose some of his teeth. Um, so he's got he's probably got some like oral pain going on. Uh, so I'll show you guys. See the bottom ones like falling out. I will see if I can take a picture so that I can better show you guys. That's all we're gonna do for Richie today. I'm gonna finish and then put him away, and we'll move on with Rexy. <laughs> Rexy is like finally getting back to work now. After his well-deserved vacation. Watch style is proving to have some funny lighting. Um, so I used the hands-on groomer with Richie because he's got a little bit more sensitive skin. This has like little bumpies. Uh, but I'm gonna use the posture prep groomer on Rex. I already picked and hoof oiled his feet this morning before my coach rode him. I don't know if you can tell, he's got so much hair where I did the blanket clip. <laughs> he's trying to lean back into it because it feels good. I don't expect Rexy to be sore today in any spots. He has not had a hard week, so. Um, it's really just kind of routine massaging and stretching for him today. I don't expect any really sore muscles to come up. I shouldn't say that there is nothing that gets sore for him right now, because even though he hasn't been back in heavy work yet, um, his shoulder gets really sore this time of year from going from being uh, without blankets to wearing blankets all the time. So. Um, he tends to get really tight through here um, when he starts to wear blankets in the winter time again, so like the beginning of winter. Um, so that is really an area I want to target. I will also come in here and just kind of like try to like help loosen up those muscles for him uh, because he does get really tight through there and actually I don't know if we discussed this on the blog last year, but Doppler also has gotten really sore in his chest and shoulder before from wearing a back on track blanket. The, my one complaint about those back on track blankets is that the, the cut of the neck hole is strange and it kind of creates um, a tough spot for them. It's also just a good habit to be in, um, um, even when they're not in heavy work to do all of their massaging. One, it's good for their muscles, but two, um, it just helps you keep an eye on how things do look so that, you know, if he's reactive or I'm finding something, I kind of have a baseline to work with. Everybody does tummy lifts. A 
And then for Rexy today, I really want to make sure I stretch the legs forward. Since he's been getting tight in his shoulder, this kind of just lets him stretch it out. You know, I, I think blankets are a really useful tool uh, for us to keep weight on our horses in New England and keep them nice and warm. Good boy. And um, he's doing that stretch all by himself. But the downside to that is that it puts a lot of like strain on their body because it's not something that's really necessarily normal for them to wear. Um, oh, good boy, good stretch. So I, I've seen a lot of horses lose top line and get sore through their necks and shoulders and like where their neck connects to their shoulder from wearing blankets in the winter time. So as I expected, nothing too crazy to note with Rexy, just to make it uncomfortable. I'm gonna do his tail rocking now. He seems to really like that. I'm gonna blanket him and put him away and then I'm gonna go bring Z in from outside. Um, he's been out in the rain and I wanna scrub his legs so that hopefully they can dry before I do his standing wraps. His legs are actually quite dry under these soaked standing wraps. We have a lot of laundry to do <laughs> tonight. I already did Z's stretches today and stuff so I'm really just kind of getting him ready for bed, <laughs> as uh, one of my clients says. So I'm gonna take his wet blankie off, put a stable blanket on, and rewrap his standing wraps so that he can uh, go in his cell. Oh, he's like, is he shaking? He's like a wet dog is what I was just about to say. He gets so irritated when he's like wet or sweaty, which is why he's like all goofy right now. His fetlock wounds are super healed at this point, but I'm just a little bit afraid to kind of like stop wrapping them because we've come such a long way through this process. So, um, and then with everything going on, he's being so swishy right now. Um, with everything going on with his uh, left hind, I've just been keeping him wrapped all around, <laughs> all the time, so. A lot of wrapping and a lot of attention. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.